On this video, I'm going to give you three ways to be able to win a street fight. I do not recommend street fighting at all, but you never know what will happen in this crazy world. You might have to defend yourself against a bully. You might have to protect your grandma or your wife or your kids. You might get into a bit of road rage car accident when someone comes at you. You need to know what you're going to do if you get in one of them situations. One thing I do highly recommend is that you go to a boxing gym, a martial arts gym, a jiu-jitsu gym, a kickboxing gym. Go somewhere where you can learn some defense. How to strike is very important. And you don't have to go to a gym and do sparring and all that. You just need to learn how to throw punches. And you can learn a lot of that off this YouTube channel. I'm a former undefeated professional boxer, Olympic medalist. So subscribe to this channel and you're going to get lots of education videos on how to throw punches correctly. So let's get down to the three different ways to win a street fight. In street fighting, there are no rules, as I'm sure you know. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to be kind honest a gentleman all you've got to do is win and try not to get hurt my first tip is to get the first punch on him and let's see if this is a guy coming towards me aggressive with his hands like this you know i want to tell him listen i don't want to fight i put my hands up in front i don't want to fight i don't want to have a fight please no tell him all of this and then he's not going to be expecting what you're about to do which is step in with your lead foot and throw your back hand, throw your power hand, your right hand if you're right handed. So if you listen me, I don't want to fight, I don't want to get involved with this, boom, step in and punch, punch hard in the face, on the chin. Make sure you've got a really tight fist when you do that. That's going to take you by surprise because you've just said, listen, I don't want to fight. Straight away, his mind goes, I'm a tough guy. Yeah, look at me, this guy's afraid of me. Let him think that. Listen, no, I don't want to fight. Let him think that. Boom, that's it, you know? With that punch, especially if you've learned how to do some boxing or striking, you know, that's going to be it. That will be game over. A good punch is going to end it with like that. If he's on the ground, then you can walk away and, and go. Get the first punch off, distract him. Listen, no, I don't want to fight. Great, that is tip number one. Tip number two is pretty similar to tip number one, but rather than hitting him in the head, you're going to hit him in the body, in the body where the ribs meet, the sternum there, we used to call it the solar plexus. If you've ever been punched there, oh my God, that really hurts. It takes the wind out of you. You can't do anything. It freezes you up and you can't breathe. If you've been punched there, hard before, especially if they're relaxed. If someone's relaxed and you hit them there, that's it, it's game over. So with this tip, you can do the same thing. Listen, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight. He's the police coming right now. He's gonna turn around, boom, hit him there. So distract him. Before you're gonna punch him, distract him. Think if he's in front of me here, and I say to him, this guy wants to fight you, or he's my friend, he's gonna win, he, he'll do this. As soon as you look over there, he's gonna turn and look, boom, whack him hard. So we'll be here, listen, listen, man, I don't wanna fight you, I don't wanna fight you. He's the police, will get arrested, boom, like that. Smash, in the solar plexus. That there is game over. Now, tip number three. This is a great one. Again, it's going to distract him and it's going to hit him. I'm not going to punch him with this one. I'm going to slap him. But I'm going to slap him as if I'm punching, turning my hips and getting my body weight behind the slap, which is going to bring maximum power to the slap. The reason why I'm slapping rather than punching is so I'll not hurt my hand. But you can really hurt him. It's not a slap like a... Yeah, it's not one of them slaps. It's a real power slap, turning my hips into it. But with this one, I'm going to get him to shake my left hand. I'm going to say, please, mate, shake my hand. I don't want to fight. Shake my hand. As soon as his left hand grabs my left hand, I'm going to pull him in. Slap. And you can hear there the power in that. So again, come on, mate, please. I don't want to fight. Shake my hand, mate. Please shake my hand. I'm ready. I'm in the stance position, right? I'm not in a, I haven't got my fist, so he doesn't know what's going to come. And he's going to be acting hard. Please shake me hand, shake me hand. As soon as I shake his hand, slap, power slap. And right there, it's game over. Game over, I've won, I've won. Them's three tips there. 
Obviously, with fights, it's not as straightforward as that. They might come at you for lots of punches. That's where you, if you've learned jujitsu or wrestling, that is great. But if the fight is about to kick off, you want to get that first punch in as well. If you end up on the floor, if you end up on your back and you don't know what to do, do anything you can to win. I'm talking about anything. Bite. Stick your finger up his ass. Grab it. his balls. Do what you can do to get off that floor. Because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how far this guy is going to go. He might be banging you off the floor, cause your brain damage. He might poke you in the eye. He might really seriously damage you. You want to get off that floor. Like I said, bite him. Do whatever you can do to get off the floor. I want to say this one more time, like I said at the beginning of the video. I do not recommend fighting. I don't. If it comes down to it, do what you've got to do to win and get out of there. For more videos on how to punch, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's lots more coming. Thank you for watching.